Here we go! What is going on guys, it's your boy Gaming Natural here today. We have got some zombies gameplay for you and this is a easy high round tutorial. Now anyone can do this, it's super easy to do, it's like so easy, rounds go ever so quickly compared to normal and you can get tons of kills really easy with any weapon. Uh, so what you need is the Thunderbow first of all, because this is the main weapon. As you can see in the video right now, I'm basically in the spawn room where you buy Quick Revive. And all you have to do is shoot your Thunderbow every time it sort of, like runs out when the zombies get close. Also to suggest you have the zombie shield for this, as you can see I turn around in the video quite a lot. That's just in case a zombie wants to try and bat me a little bit. And I'm going to skip some rounds here. So uh, yeah, I'm, you're just in the Quick Revive room with the zombie shield and the Thunderbow. And you just basically shoot that Thunderbow at the start of a round, wait for the zombies to get close, shoot again. But the only problem is the Panzers, they can get trapped in the room. And I've tried using gravity spikes, putting it down as a trap, but it sort of glitches them out and it pushes them under the map and it does end up actually getting me killed. Not in this video, but in another video it did. And um, so I suggest that you run to the courtyard in front of the castle when a panzer comes in, you just take it out there and then come back. So basically, once if you don't know how to make the thunder bow, there's going to be a tutorial at the end of this. And um, or you can look in the description, I'll have a more detailed tutorial. You see, I'm skipping rounds right now, and I'm just basically sitting in that room. Uh, you can also use the last gobble gum. I can't remember how you say it, but it gives you a bullet for every 10 points earned. Now, look, look at my points. They're going mental. If you have this, it's literally unlimited ammo for a round, and you can get max ammo. You're right near the gondola. You're near everything. It's really easy to get. Uh, I hope you subscribe and like. The tutorial will be right now. So, right now I'm going to do a quick tutorial, it's not going to be in depth, but this is how to make the thunder bow really quickly. So first of all, what you need to do is get the actual bow, and come over and shoot this thing. It won't be on flames and that, but it's already like that. But once you've done that, you'll pick up a little part which drops out, and there'll be these three thunder things around the map. You can see two of them there, and that last one down there, what you can't see, is in the rocket yard. You can't actually go to the rocket yard in fit and mode, but it, you see it, you walk in and it's on your right. Once you've done that, and you've little them, you're challenge quest thing will move up just a tiny bit and you want to work your way down into the uh, the anti-gravity moon room thing and all you have to do is wait till there's anti-gravity and you'll see these wind symbols on the wall they'll be flashing and all you have to do is run around I suggest going this way around where I do in the uh, in the theater mode because you can just run around in one go and it's easy for anyone as when you're not the host it's sort of laggy in this room you can just do one wall run all the way around hitting all of these without falling off so if you fall off you have to restart and it's really is to do. And then once you've done that, all you have to do is head up to these three separate locations. Uh, I tried to go up here but you can't, so I have to go back down. There is one in the clock tower. Now, uh, it's down below. You see it really easy. Uh, but I think I actually go to the one near double tap first. But just above double tap there is one, and it's a little electric box thing you're going to see in the video. I go there, and then I go to the double tap one. It's just up here. Yep, right here. Uh, these little things, there's three of them around the map. There's one here, and one in the clock tower I go to. And one straight away, um, <laughs> as soon as you go for the teleporter actually, uh, you see straight ahead there will be another one there. They'll be electrocuted for you because you've just done the first two parts. And all you have to do is charge souls into them. Once you've charged the souls, you'll be able to uh, hold down your bow and it'll get a little electric charge. And all you have to do is shoot the bonfires again right next to the... Um, right next to where you did it before. So basically just shoot them with the electric charge on the end of your bow. So basically, these little things here, once they're charged, hold your bow, your bow will turn electric, and all you have to do is shoot the bonfires again. Then what you want to do is just head your way down, back into the gravity room, and put your bow back in, or oh, all the arrow, there'll be an arrow drop out of that thing there, sorry. And then what you want to do is take that arrow, take it down into here, put it in the box, charge souls, hold square on it again, Take it out and you'll have your bow. There'll be a more detailed description below. This has been your boy, Gamer Nacho. Till next time, peace.